In this video, we're going to look at making a custom file using some of the tools built into Silhouette. We're going to go with the rounded rectangle tool, which is right here. Select it, and then drag. Just drag any old size. Select it. Then up here, go to the open scale window. It's, like, it's a little crop icon. And lock aspect ratio and I'm going to put two inches. Well, actually I don't need it locked because I want two inches by two inches. I want it square. Okay, apply. And let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. Okay, now we have a two inch by two inch. And we've got nice rounded corners. But for a bookmark, we're going to actually put something uh, on the top. And so we don't need this top corner. So we're going to select the knife tool right right there and line it up where you want to cut it click and drag and when you release you can see that they're separated I'm just going to select that and delete it we also need to get rid well we don't have to worry about that line okay next is text tool and we're going, this is a little bookmark, so we're going to just type read. I've got my caps lock on, and I'm going to type read. Oops, it would help if I spelled it right. But there we go. And I'm going to highlight the text, and any text you've got on your computer will show up here. I found one I liked. Let me see if I can find it again here. You can just keep clicking on your different text to see what you like. That's the one I want right there. Okay, so once you get your text, you can size it to whatever size you want. Um, my size happens to work for what I need here. But to size it, you can either size it this way by clicking and dragging. I'm going to undo. Or you can scale it over here by the point size, minus 72 points, which is what I want. You can even space, now watch, space the characters. As I go up, see the space between the letters? And line spacing is space between lines when you've got multiple lines. I'm going to go edit, undo, and seeing this is the size I want, I'm going to take it down and I'm going to overlap my text. Actually, I'm going to bring it right to the edge. Bring it over the line so they intersect. And I am going to make this just a little longer to fit. There we go. I think I want to bring it down just a tad. All this is personal preference. Okay, once you line it up, this intersection is important because we're going to weld this. Make a big selection so you get both objects. And down here is your little weld tool. Or you can go to Object, Modify, Weld. It's a whole lot easier to go down here. And there you have it. There's your um, cut file. Now one thing I should mention, I'm going to undo this real quick. I'm going to make a copy. Command C or Control C on your keyboard or con Control V on a PC, Command V on a Mac. I'm going to move this over and I'm going to re-weld this again. The reason I did that is I'm going to cut this out of chipboard and mine's going to be painted black because I'm going to do a special effect on it. But you might want to have an outline of the whole word or cover it with paper or paint it a different color. But this way you've got the whole word. So it's good just to have it separate in case you need it. This is going to be one of the little bookmarks that clip over the page. So we need a little cutout here in the center. 
So what we're going to do is go to this tool right here, draw a polygon, select it, and click those little um, crosshairs will help you draw, get your line straighter. Let's see, let's pull it down to about here. Click, pull across, click. Select. Okay, now we want I want this line a little thicker, so select it. Go up to the line style window, and I want the solid line, but I'm going to increase the thickness to four. I want it to leave a little bit of a hole when it cuts. And I want the top edges around it, and I want the end caps with the end cap around it. So when this cuts, we'll have this little opening here and a little flap to go over the bookmark. 